So, did Manchester United deserve to concede a penalty for Andre Onana's howler? We're going to be talking about that in this video. And yeah, man, let's start with that. I mean, honestly, Onana, I don't know why this guy comes out flappy bird arms, bro. Like, he comes out all wild, out of control, and he basically almost knocks the guy out. I mean, like, he's literally coming out just out of control, just wild. And yeah, I mean, it's it's almost just an easy, easy decision. I mean, he's not playing the ball. He could, you know, the the argument could be, well, he's trying to punch the ball. But, I mean, if he's not even touching the ball, nothing, he just hits the player straight and cleans the player out like that without hitting the ball or trying to touch the ball and nothing, then they're going to give a penalty, and it's a penalty decision. And then Burnley go on and equalize. So, Man United are literally probably one of the top teams in the Premier League. I think it's, what, like, now, now it's six games and, what, ten that we've conceded past the 80th minute. We're Man United, but we're moving like a 20th place team. Why are we conceding so many goals after the 80th minute? That's a mentality issue. That's a mentality issue. You know, that that's crazy, man. And it's just the same stuff over and over again. So all the rest of these games are irrelevant. Literally, all of them. People are going to say, well, Arsenal isn't irrelevant because we could potentially slow them down from winning the title. Look at our form. Look at our form from the past one, two, three, four, five games. Draw, 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 loss. Because what what we won against Coventry on pens, what we drew in regular time. So our form is garbage. I didn't mean to do it. Our form is terrible. We're garbage. We're horrible, man. This this is unacceptable stuff. And when you look at the table, we are six points of off of top five. So we're fighting for fourth loser. We're fighting for fourth loser. So the only thing that we're riding on right now is this FA Cup. On the 25th of May. And I'm seeing some people saying sack Ten Hag before the cup final. Because we don't have a chance of beating City with him, in the, with him in the, as manager. I want you guys to let me know what you think about that down below in the comment section. Should we sack Ten Hag before the FA Cup final? I would love to hear some um, input on that. I don't think so. I think let him, let him play the cup final. But, I mean, this is ridiculous. Look at all these games. One, two, three, four. So, irrelevant, 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 irrelevant. What? So, if we win these games, well, we drew to Burnley. So, it, I don't know how many points we're going to get out of those four. Shoot, we might not get any points at this point, at this rate. The way we're going, we literally law, uh, drew to a 19th place team. They're fighting relegation. They're in the relegation zone. I mean, come on, man. This is sad, man. This is some sad stuff. A relegation zone team, and Man United can't handle it. It's sad, man. I want you guys to know. let me know down below in the comment section. Do you think the Onana um, decision was correct? Um, what do you think about Ten Hag? What do you think about today's game? I would love to hear your responses and input. Yeah. It's been my life. See you guys. And I'm out, man. Peace out.